So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to fix the problem where you've forgotten your password, pin, or pattern, and you're basically locked out of your Galaxy Tab S10 or S10 Ultra. So what you need to do is hard reset. It's literally the only option. So that means you're going to lose all your data on the tablet. And then once you hard reset, you're still going to need the password to the Google account that's already on the tablet. So if you have multiple Google accounts, just any of the Google accounts. So that helps Samsung verify that it's the owner trying to hard reset this particular thing. So we're going to hard reset via the recovery uh, menu or recovery mode. So now to do that, you're gonna need a computer next to you. So I have my laptop here ready to go. And you also need a cable. So there's going to be a data cable which you're going to use to connect from the tablet to the laptop or to the uh, Windows computer. I said Windows computer, it's literally any computer. It could be a Mac, it could be a Linux computer. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a computer. So let's get the cable. I'm going to use this type C to type C cable because my laptop fortunately has a type C port. So I'm just going to connect one end there and the other end of this cable to the type C port of my tablet, just like that. Now, once I connect, you can see this thing is on. Okay. The only thing I cannot do is gain access into the tablet because I can't remember the password pin or pattern. So now once I've connected, what you need to do now is take note of this button. So we have the power button and then we have the volume rocker. So this is volume up and this is volume down. So we are going to press and hold power and volume down. And we're going to do that until the screen or rather the tablet shuts down. Now you'll tell it has shut down because the screen is going to go blank. This process normally takes about 10 seconds. And then as soon as that happens, we're going to release and then press power and volume up. Also press and hold those two until you see the Samsung logo. And as soon as you see the Samsung logo, we're going to let go of the power button and continue holding volume up. Okay, so let's do this together. So power volume down, press and hold. Just ignore the power menu, just keep holding. Just keep holding. Just keep holding and also keep the tablet connected to the laptop. Just keep holding, goes off. So now I'm going to switch to volume up and power button. Samsung logo appears, I let go of the power button continue holding volume up and that puts me in recovery mode. All right. So now inside recovery mode, this is where you can scroll using the volume rockers. So volume down to scroll down and volume up to scroll up as you can see. So we want to go and select wipe data slash factory reset. Remember I told you that a hard reset is the only way out of this situation. So use the power button to select that and then it's going to ask you and, and warn you that this, this will wipe all user data so just scroll down to factory data reset and then select using the power button again so that's going to erase everything on the tablet and you can tell once it's complete it will say data wipe complete so that tells you it has finished uh, hard resetting so now all you have to do now is reboot the tablet so make sure reboot system now is selected and then press the power button to enter that. So now what should happen is after the hard reset, your Samsung tablet should boot back to the original setup screen so that you can set up your, tab your tablet afresh. Now during the setup process, you're going to encounter uh, a prompt to enter the passcode. And since you've forgotten the passcode, we're going to go to the alternative, which is use Google account instead. So let's, uh, Let's see how we get there. There you go. So that is the uh, startup screen. So let's set up this tablet quickly. So language, then start. And then we have the end user license agreement, privacy policy, agree. This is just normal stuff. Now at this point, you're going to have to select setup manually. Okay, so tap on that. 
then it's going to tell you that an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings. So just click OK. Connect to your Wi-Fi network. Now it's connected. It says getting tablet ready. In fact, at this point, you can disconnect your cable. You don't need the computer at this point anymore. We've already done uh, our reset. So I'm just going to push that away. And let's continue setting up the tablet. So this is the part I was telling you about. So it's going to ask you to draw the pattern. Now, remember, this is the password we forgot. And that's why we went through this process. So you're going to tap on use my Google account instead. So once you tap on that, it's going to ask you to enter the details of the Google account that was on the tablet before. So let's start with the email address. So I'm just going to type it in and then tap on next. And then it's going to ask for the password for that Google account. And once you type in the password, just tap on next. Beg your pardon. And so once you enter the correct uh, username and password, it's going to ask you for the other Google account in case you had more than one Google account. For me, I'm just going to go and skip that for now. So I'll just tap on skip. And then it's going to ask me to copy apps and data and I'll just choose done copy. And then again, it's going to ask me for the other Google account, which I'll skip once again. And then now protect your tablet. Uh, you can choose to set up uh, a password right now or you can skip and do that later. So I'm just going to skip. And then you have your Google services. Basically, at this point, it's the normal tablet setup process. OK, we've already identified who we are and we have gotten access back to our tablet this is just uh, these are just formalities just the normal stuff you do when you're setting up your tablet so just want to finish so i can show you how to that we've actually gained access back into our tablet we've basically bypassed a forgotten password so that's basically what you are trying to do here And we are all set up. There you go. We now, we now have access back to our Samsung Galaxy Tab S10. All right. So that is basically how to bypass a forgotten password, pin, or pattern on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 or S10 Ultra or even the S10 Plus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to talk to us in the comment section. Good luck.